and we back are y'all ready for a movie i mean i don't really know how long this video is gonna be but i know it's gonna take me a super long time to record it now through the history of this channel we have created many many goats Dwayne, neil amari love just to name a few now these players go on their entire career they end up leading the league in scoring all time and a lot of different great accolades now, when Dwayne Neal and Amari Love ended up beating Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's record, they both ended at around 40,000 NBA points, which is, of course, amazing. That is the most in NBA history. But today, I want to create a player to score 100,000 points in his NBA career. You heard that right. Looking at Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's record and doing that over and over again, 100,000 points. But Kenny, how is that possible? Amari Love literally was a 99 overall, and he only barely beat Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Well, I guess technically I haven't even experimented with this, but I want to show you what we're going to do. I have created a new GOAT. I feel like I've said that since a few times, but it's a fact. When you go to <laughs> when you go to the draft, the mock draft, there's this shooting guard out of Illinois, Chicago, who um is really about that action. Shooting guard, Kenny Beachum, 19-year-old, six set. Okay, I added a foot to my actual height because I need to have NBA height. This player is going to score a hundred thousand points in his NBA career. So he's similar to Amari Love, where he has no holes in his game except for I. Oh, he can't rebound? I, when did I, why did I put up his rebound? I don't know. But one thing you can do in NBA 2K21 is reset ages. For example, the oldest player in the league right now who hasn't retired is Cal Corver. So I can go into Cal Corver, go to his vitals, and change his year of birth. In real life, he was born in 1981. Well, in my world, he was born in 2002, which will make him the youngest player in the league. So what we're going to do in this video, and that's why I said it's going to be a movie because it's going to take me literally, what, eight hours to do this video? Every time Kenny Beecham hits the age of 30, we're resetting him to 19 years old. And we're going to do it until the end of my league. I, I used to say this here, but I think in my league, you get 80 seasons and then that's it. It's a wrap. I don't know what happens once you hit the 80th season. Does the game can bust? I don't really know. But that gives us 80 years of NBA play with Kenny Beecham. At least that's that's the idea. I mean, 2K might just make him retire regardless, but I don't really know. We're experimenting. And in 80 years, I mean, the dude might end up putting 200,000 points on the board. So while we continue to get everything set up, this is my reminder to you to leave a like on the video. This is going to take me a very long time to get done, and I know y'all going to enjoy it. So leave that like, man. And if you're new around here, subscribe. We're on the road to 1, mil you hit 1 million subscribers. And we can't hit that if you don't subscribe. So tune in, baby. So y'all had to restart the simulation because it broke on me. I kind of forgot that 2K is a very unreliable system. So this video might be shorter than we expected if 2K just decides to break itself. But okay, he's going to end up with the OKC Thunder, as you saw. Um, they end up winning the lottery. And well, um, I don't expect anybody other than my my uh, self to go first overall. But you know what? Listen. I've done a lot of these type of videos, and this is the first time I've ever named a player after myself. So give me a little, give me a little wiggle room, y'all. I know you like, dang, Kenny, you ain't nowhere near that nice. You right? <laughs> you absolutely right. But let me hit the record books just one time. So as y'all know, when we do these videos, I don't control anything. I'm gonna take over the OK, take over the OKC Thunder just so we can see what the heck they're doing. Um, but I don't do anything. All of this is on automatic. If they want to make trades, they can do whatever they want. We just going we going to sit back and relax. So, uh rookie season, okay, see, he is a shooting guard and so is Shea Gillis Alexander. I hope that um that one of us can run point guard. I'm guessing it's going to be going to be Kenny Beachum to run PG because he's the perfect NBA player other than his rebounding. He can't rebound. Okay, so they got Shea at the point guard. I don't think it matters too much. Why do I have palm trees tatted on my arm? I have no idea. Uh, we have Kawhi. We signed Kawhi. Bro, we're going to win championships. I mean, none of that matters. We're not here to see how many championships he can win. But it does help, you know what I'm saying, to win championships. And if 2K was a good game, they'd also keep track of playoff points. And then we'd probably try to get that as well. But we can't do that um, because 2K is not, not very good. This is season one out of, what, 49 or, or no, 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 79? So how do I, I think like every five years we check in to see what's going on or something i don't know because obviously i'm not showing you all 70 something years because that's a long video look who does it in his rookie season 34 points per game okay cool so let's do some math a hundred thousand is that the right is that right a hundred thousand points let's say divided by 34 if he can score 34 points per game every season wait Wait, that's not right. That's 
What am I doing here? Okay, new math equation. New. This is this is real struggle right now. New math equation. A hundred thousand points. One, two, three. Divided by twenty-eight hundred points because that's how many points he scored this season. So it would take us thirty-five point seven. NBA seasons for him to get a hundred thousand points. That's the mathematics. I was trying to do y'all. This is it This was the one. Um, I don't know what the first that first equation was I have no idea But anyway, it would take us 35 seasons if we continue to score 34, which I I doubt but you never know Well, that was embarrassing. Um, honestly, he can end up he's gonna end up all time in assists steals blocks He may break every single record just by being there for a long time. He shot 275 threes. He made 275 threes. So that's cool. Defensive player of the year as well. He break he breaking everything basically. That's all you really need to know. They were the one seed as a team. Don't really matter to me because none of these stats even mean a thing. Oh, we get swept in the second round by the four seed. Cool. Whatever. I'm going to try to play this as perfect as possible. Once he's close to 100,000 points, I want to jump in and I want to score his 100,000 point. I want to do that myself. All right, your number two is here. Shea is gone. Oh, okay. So they just said we don't need Shea Gilson Alexander anymore, huh? Just Kenny Beecham, just that nice that we all allow Shea to go to Cleveland. Why couldn't we just play together? Why couldn't we just play together? That is so, oh my God, that's terrible. Oh, okay. So we just don't do MVP awards anymore. Cool. Um, we do still do defense play to the points per game drop by four. So my mathematics are going to have to be recalculated. But, um, uh, can you imagine a team loses an all-star caliber player and they're worse? Who would have thought it? Oh. Oh. Okay. Losing Shea Gibbs Alexander wasn't that bad after all. You win, a you win a championship, I guess. All right. Two seasons in. Now we, now we start since we are going for as long as possible. I think I'll see you guys after your number, how, after your number five, maybe? Of course, unless something dr dramatic happens. Um, I'm going to make him the number one scoring option over Kawhi Leonard. Um, and Tom Thibodeau is our coach now. I'm gonna say play through star. I just want to get as many points as possible So if the man goes out there and averages 40, uh, then I'll talk to you before this five five season point But we'll see. All right, so about five years into his career. He's 25 years old. I'm um, excited an extension I guess I mean the man's getting bank. Oh, he's almost done with this first contract Okay, so we're six year of pro and here what the statistics look like so far So we showed you the first year so he had a 36 point per game season a 37 and a half point per game season and a 35 point per game season But he had one bad I guess these two <laughs> Bad seasons of 30 and 31 points two MVPs two championships six time all-star five defense player of the years He didn't win defense player of the year last season. Um, Giannis got that one. Kawhi is getting worse um, he's, he's only 25 at this point only 25 and for his career. He has 16,760 three points about four thousand rebounds but again his rebound numbers are actually terrible so i don't know how he's getting that many rebounds a lot of steals a good amount of blocks especially for a guy that's playing the shooting guard position so i'm excited man just five years in all right we need to be putting up trey young numbers what are we doing here can we get can we get our own team here so we can have trey young the man averaged 40 if we get a couple trey young years it's over with bro it really is. Oh, we play for the Heat now. And our numbers drop dramatically playing for the Heat. No way. No, 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 no. This is no, 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 no. You're messing with my... He didn't even make All-NBA first team. Second team. He's on the third. Miami better be winning a bunch of games. They, they're the third three seed. Who is... I didn't even know we switched teams, by the way. On the Heat, they still have Bam out of Bayo, Patrick Williams. They're probably... Lou Dort is on this team averaging three. They're probably just playing like a super, super slow pace or just there's like good shot distribution. Like this is a back. This is the point guard, the rookie point guard. He averaged 17. Aaron Gordon, like, I mean, I, I didn't, we need to average at least 30, at least 30. We hit 21,000 points. That is a huge milestone. Look at our points and like total points every season until we get to Miami. Just 2,000. This is making the challenge way longer if we stick with these type of numbers. So whatever going on in Miami got to change. And yeah, bro, that's that's whack. It's just it's just bad. Um, I knew he was gonna have to switch teams. It's always the way it works. Nobody stays on their team for the entire career in 2K, uh, 2K21 next gen. But I didn't expect it to be this bad. If you were, like, I didn't expect it to be this bad. And yeah, 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 yeah. So next thing I want to do is basically the same thing I did when he played with OKC. Make him the number one option. Shoot at will. Play through star 
um this guy's our coach what is his system because he might be a grit and grind old coach and we don't we don't rock with those systems around here he's balanced okay that's not too bad it's not too bad um we also he's only get him more minutes yeah give him four i'm gonna give him 48 minutes whatever it takes whatever it takes oh they win a championship so that's fine that's fun um and he only averaged 23 in the final so that's whack i don't know is this his third championship fourth championship third i haven't really been keeping up i've just been simulating i've just been simulating okay let's get to the next season i'm gonna make it so that he's playing 48 48 ain't no injuries so why not why not just let him play 48 so he can just score as many points as possible also, I didn't mention this earlier. Uh, his shot tendency is all at 99. Um, so, yes, he should be taking all the shots. That was the purpose of this video. He should be taking them all. But at this point, averaging 24 points ain't that. So, let's go here. They want to give him 38 minutes. Who's the backup shooting guard? Terrence Davis. I'm sorry. I'm taking all of your minutes away, and I'm giving it right here. And then P-Wheel can get the remaining. First game after the new system. 24! Come on, put more shots up on the board. Come on, 2K. What, what was the point? 30. Okay, I'll take 30. P. Will. Okay, the, the Paul is out here. The Paul is really out here. He's a two-time champion, too. All right, so the 2K changed his shot tendency when he got... Because that is, you know, 2K be changing stuff. He still got 99 shot tendency. So, actually, no, they didn't change anything. All right, couple more games. Okay, that's a, these are high-scoring games. 19. Don't play. 30. Okay, so he's, he's going to average like 25 on the year. 28. Oh, 28 is pretty good. I'll take 28. If he stayed at 28. Oh, yeah, I'll take 28. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would be fine. Right now, if we want to take a look around the league or or when it comes to NBA records, he's at 21,000 points, which will put him at 67th all time in scoring. And we're just and he ain't even hit 30 yet. We ain't even reset his age just yet. So we got a long way to go. This is inexcusable, Mr. Beecham. Shoot the ball more. 50 40 99 club shoot the ball more quit playing come on man this is this is really we're not even all nba first team anymore you're a 99 and you're not making all nba first team come on man this is tough bro i don't know okay that's like their fourth championship in a row so they're whatever they're doing is working they're winning games they're winning championships we don't want to win champion that's that's the last of our list of things to do so he had a 28 point per game season here in Miami, but he reversed back to 24 seven. Um, and that will put us all time with 25, or close to 26,000 points. He's only 28. So we got two more years of simulation before we do our first revert. I don't know what is going to happen after the first revert. I don't know if 2K can withstand the greatness that we are trying to achieve. So this is both an experiment and a video regardless we are publishing this one because if it doesn't work this is an essay to 2k about fixing their game and if it does work then it's just a banger video where we hit a hundred thousand points we're, we're over a fourth of the way there y'all crazy only eight eight years to his nba career which means that statistically the 30 30 something seasons uh, i don't know i don't do math you saw you saw my calculator work a little bit earlier so he switched teams and he just won another championship but this time with atlanta he averaged 30 in the playoffs. Okay, 27.7. We'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. 27.7. Um, cool. Another championship. That is his third championship with three different franchises. I mean, GOAT, yes. 100 percent No ifs, ands, or buts about it. He is he is the one and only GOAT. Anyway, so he is at the age of 29 now. I know I said 30, but I think we're just gonna do it now since we're already talking. Um, if you want to see total points after all these seasons. Please tell me something great. 28,000. 28,000 will put him where on the all-time list? He's already at 30th. He's about to pass up Carmelo Anthony. Already 30th. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. Okay, here it is. Go to Kenny Beecham. Go into his vitals. He ain't aged a day. And, well, we're we're about to take... You see the years? The year pro? The man was born in 2013. Insane. Some of y'all watching this video is probably born in 2013. And that's even more insane to me. How is that... Wait. Yes. How is that even possible? How are you that young? Well, this guy, he's back to 18 years old, y'all. Let's go. We reset it. Now, will the game crash once we start to simulate? Only time will tell. Okay, he's, he's 19. He's 19. He signed a three-year deal with Atlanta. It seemed like he's just going to be team hopping, bro. And if that's the case, hey, let it let it be known. Let it be known. Um, So, I want to go nine-man rotation. Their coach is trash. He's bad. 
Um, but as long as they give Kenny Beecham the ball, I don't care how good your coach is. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's simulate. First game is a win, 34 points. Okay. Did it count? I know that's a stupid question, but I never underestimate 2K. It did count. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a wrap. The experiment. We know, we know it works. It took me uh, 56 minutes and 33 seconds to find out that yes, it does work to recess someone's age. So now we sit back. I'll see y'all in five more seasons. Quick little update. Kenny Beecham is ninth all time in scoring, right? Um, if you didn't, <laughs> if you didn't know, Colin Sexton ended up being very close to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has fallen significantly from being the best score of all time, the highest lead score of all time, to just the seventh. So let me introduce you to the six people that scored more than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You ready? Number six, Carl Anthony Towns. Um, he beats him by about a thousand, like a little over a thousand, eleven hundred ish. Number five. Kyrie Irving puts up 40,000 points in his NBA career. Number four, Giannis, 42,636. Number three, LeBron. You kind of expected that, LeBron. It's LeBron. Number two, Trey Young. I mean, if you average in 40 multiple seasons, of course you're going to do that. And the all-time leading scorer as of right now in the NBA is Luka Doncic at 44,000. And if I'm not mistaken, okay, so Carl Anthony Towns is just retiring, but I think Luca is still in the league. Like he's still adding, yeah, there he is. He is 37, he's still a 93. He's still adding to his all-time leading points. Um, a ridiculous career for Luka Doncic. Um, Kenny Beecham is now back to only 22 years old and you saw he's top 10, so we're looking good. We got John Moran and Josh Booker on our team now. Players, oh, Cam Reddish is here. There's so many old players in the league that are just really, really good. Like Ben Simmons is 40 years old. Carthy Towns is 40 and still a 90? 90? Same thing with Ben Simmons, 92 overall at 40 years old. Oh my God, that is insane. What? There's nobody who's retiring. Everybody's still really, really good. Um, Yeah, this is fun so far. This is fun so far. Who was that? Somebody had an 86 just... 89 old oh, Trey Young retired. Okay. I mean at 89, honestly, bro, he still had years and years and years left in the tank. 2K's wild. Car Anthony Towns was a 90. He still had years. Why do they want to make people retire at 40? I guess people probably just want to enjoy life because they've been traveling and, and do, playing basketball their whole life. But if you're still all NBA caliber at 40, why will you stop? Especially if you already like top and scoring, just keep adding to that. He wasn't going to catch Luka. Trey Young wasn't going to catch Luka. But he could have been close. You know what I'm saying? He could have just stat padded a little bit to be known as the second best scorer of all time. Or technically third because Kenny Beecham is very, very close to them. Um, so here we are. Um, still looking good. He has 30 last year. You know what I need to look at? Rebounds and assists. Because we've been in the league for a long time. We're in year 30, 30, uh, 2036. So means that we've been going for 15 seasons, right? So 15 years worth of statistics. Typically, an NBA career is like 15 years. So, three-pointers all time. I'm guessing Kenny Beecham is up in here somewhere. Oh, wow. He's 29th. I'm actually surprised that it's that low. Huh. All right. Free throws? He's probably up in here, right? I don't know how much his draw fouls. His draw foul tendency is high. So, he's 17th. Rebound-wise, he not messing with some of these dudes. I mean, these are like legitimate center. Pressures are truly his 19th all, all time. Um, yeah, so I guess he's not really messing with these guys, huh? Wow. Or maybe I missed them. That seems, this seems kind of low to me. He's been averaging like 10 rebounds a game. Assists, though, he should be up here, 100%. He should be, he should be top 20 at least in assists, right? He's been playing for 15 seasons and he's averaging like 8, 9 assists a game. Or not. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. Let me, let me go back. So all-time in assists, he has 8,000. He has 10,000 rebounds. Uh, 3,000 steals and 1,800, um, 1,800 blocks. 8,000 assists puts him at 35th all time. I mean, rebounds, he's barely on the board. Like, he's going to be down here somewhere. He's barely, barely. He's 70, 72nd. Blocks, what was it, like eight, 1,800? So he's in this area. 45th. Steals, I forget. He, he's not up here, though. He should be. Oh, I'm sorry. He, um, he has beat the unbeatable NBA record. He beat the unbeatable John Stockton record. Let's go. Trey Young was super close. John, John Morant is close to doing it. John Morant is still in the league. Luka's still in the league. They can beat John Stockton's assist record. All right. Minutes played. He's played 15 seasons. 
I gave him a couple seasons where he played literally every minute. So he's going to be up there. He's going to finish all time in, in turnovers. He's already eighth in points per game. I mean, he's going to be in this conversation once it's all said and done. All right, let's keep it going. He is only... <laughs> he's only 23 so we will simulate the next couple seasons and hopefully he can hit top five soon top five all time secured after this season he should be like number three he should be number three he's been averaging like 2,000 plus points per game so he should be number three after this season last year how many points did he put up he averaged 29 ish and he put up 2300 so yeah if he puts up those same exact numbers then we should be third all time. And he's only 24. Oh my God, he's only 24. I feel like Jason, you know, the Jason Tatum meme. He's only 19. Kenny Beecham is only 24. And he will be 19 again in about 10 minutes. Okay, it should be official. Are we top three? There it is, ladies and gentlemen. And if everything goes as planned, we're number two next season. The year after that, we will be the all-time leading scorer. Just very simply, very simply. It, it would just happen just like that. And you know what? It's going to happen. It's official. Kenny Beecham is the all-time leading scorer in the NBA at the age of 26. What a, what a great career he's had so far. Just a few years into it. It's so funny to look at this, by the way. Look how many years he's actually played, but only a nine-year pro, y'all. Only a nine-year pro. And we about to mess around and reset it. You know what? We're resetting it. Kenny Beecham, all-time leading scorer at the age of 19. Whew. Never been done before. Okay. Okay. How young? The man was born this year. Now, in 2021, that's that's how that's Kenny Beecham. Is this a sign that I'm having a kid this year? Is this a sign? Huh. Hey, if that means this dude gonna grow up to be the all-time leading scorer, I might as well have a kid this year. Okay, guys, at 20 years old, he has cracked. First of all, he's been in Atlanta for a long time. This is the longest stint. He must really love that ATL weather. You know what I'm saying? I, I like ATL too. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't blame him. So he is a nine-time NBA champion. He won a championship in 2022 and then has won his recent championship in 2041. Um, yeah. Uh, he, I mean, no, no, I'm sorry. Not championship. That is MVP awards. That is 20, 20 years of greatness of him winning nine MVPs. 2023 to 2041 is the NBA champion, 20-time All-Star. He's been amazing. And the reason we are recapping right now, because this is the end of the first recording session. Like I told you, it's going to take me a long time. So this is the end of number one. You'll probably see me in a different fit. So as of right now, to recap his statistics at the end of the first session, 50,000 points, 15,000 rebounds, 10,000 assists, 4,500 steals, which is still ridiculous, uh, 2,400 blocks, and then a lot of... A lot of turnovers. 5,000 threes. What does 5,000 threes put him? Because that's that's a really interesting one. Isaiah Stewart ended up number four all-time in rebounding, by the way. I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there for y'all. Third all-time in, in minutes, and it's close. By the end of the season, he's going to beat Giannis' record. Turnovers, he's number one by a lot, and he's going to continue to get higher. 40-point games, he is technically tied for first place with Luka Doncic. Tied for first place. Then beat out Jordan and all of those guys 50 point games he's number three he's got to pick it up triple doubles interesting um he is ninth okay he's only 70 in 20 seasons you've only 70 that's not good enough bro that's not good enough total points are back here but three pointers that's why i wanted to take a look at he is number nine patrick williams his former teammate is above him but he all these guys are retired all these guys are retired We're at the point of the, of the nba seasons or career where everybody we know and love has retired except for Isaiah Stewart, who continues to get the rebounding numbers, baby. But other than that, this is a whole new cast of people that we have no idea who they are. And, of course, at the top, at 20 years old, it is Kenny Beecham. Y'all, I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. It is later in the day. I'm still wearing it. Whatever. It's later in the day. I'm like, let's go for, for recording session number two. Here's my file. As you remember, Kenny Beecham was just on the Atlanta Hawks. He had just surpassed 50,000 50, points. And I was like, that's a good spot to, to chill at, right? The save file is corrupted and cannot be loaded. Why? No idea. What did I do? What did I, what did I do for this to be corrupted, bro? Okay, so we're at a crossroads. This is either where we stop the video 
and just talk about how bad 2K is, or I go back and I just simulate until he has 50,000 points again. Basically, redo all the work I already did again. Just do it. I just want to hit 100,000 points, y'all. I just don't... I don't understand. Bro, do you remember? Bro, we were at the point where there were no real NBA players left except for like... I think it was Isaiah Stewart was the last man alive <laughs> from the people that we know today. I have to do that all over again. I can't make this up. I just can't. 2K, please be better. Please. Little do y'all know at home, 2K offered me a big time bag to promote their game. I said no, because your game is broken. I would never tell somebody to buy your game because it's broken. So I don't care how much money you're trying to throw me. I'm not going to do it. And they were upset about it, but it's a fact. I wouldn't recommend people to buy the next gen console for this game because it is so broken. All I want to do is just simulate. I'm not even, I just want to simulate 2K. The very core of this game mode is simulation. How do we get a corrupt file? It's bad. It's bad. So I guess I'll be sitting here for the next two hours trying to fix things and then I will be back. And we back. Ha! <laughs> you see, I did it late in the video, but we are actually back. We're in the year 2041 at this point. I think that's exactly where we left off last time. And well, things are significantly better in the second simulation. We did hit 50,000 points again, but when I tell you the rest, you know what? Let's do the same thing we did early in the video. So there are 13 NBA players that ended up beating Kareem Abdul, or 12 NBA players ended up beating Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's points. Let's get to them. Starting off at number 12, Colin Sexton, then Brandon Ingram, then Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Giannis Adetokounmpo, Trey Young, LaMelo Ball. Kobe White, Kobe White, Kobe. See, this man wouldn't know what this is. This is like a whole new video. Everything is different. Luka Doncic, LeBron James ended up with forty-five thousand points. That's insane. That man. That means that man did not retire for another like seven years. Then we have Anthony Edwards. Edman is number two, and then Kenny Beachman number one with fifty thousand points. All right, where else are we? So of course we got all time and and uh, field goals and three pointers. We are fourteenth. Free throws, I don't know if we're in here. I don't know. Oh, seventh, okay. Rebounds, 16th. You know, got, got, oh, I don't even know this name. This is one of the auto-generated guys. 16th, Luca ended up beating, Luca and Ja ends up beating John Stockton unbeatable assist record. So that lets you know that we are definitely living in a different world here. Kenny Beecham is all the way at number 26th. Blocks, we don't expect him to be high. Steals, he did end up beating John Stockton there. And then, yeah, Kobe White is second all-time in minutes. That is that is so insane. Okay, all right. So let me show you how things are different in the sim. He plays for the San Antonio Spurs. That's the first thing. The second thing is he's been here for 20 years. Yep. Um, you know how in the first time he has switched teams like four different times? Nope. He got drafted here in 2021, and we are in 2041, and he is still here. A all-timer, a lifer, a four-lifer. He is killing the game and uh, doing great things. So we're just halfway through. You know what I'm saying? Just This is just a halfway point, even though I've done like a thousand simulations, it feels like. So now that we are here, things are dramatically different. It is what it is. You know, we're going we gonna to use this as a jumping point and let's keep going. I think I'll see y'all in maybe three years, four years. We'll, we'll really see. Milestone alert. Um, he is at 60,000 points, y'all. 60,000, 15,000 more points than anybody else on this list. He is dominating the game. He is the best to ever do it. He is creeping up. He is about a thousand three pointers away from beating LaMelo Ball, who is the great LaMelo Ball is the greatest three point shooter in the history of basketball, if you didn't know. Um, he's, he's coming up on Karl Malone's unbeatable record when it comes to free throws, rebounds. He's number five. He's a six seven shooting guard, y'all. He's a shooting guard. Assist. He, he, he got to pick it up here. He's 13th. That ain't bad. But you've been in the league for 25 years and you, you only 13th in assists? Blocks ain't no way, right? No way. He is top 20 in blocks, number 12. He's going to beat Mitchell Rob. He might end up... Ah, that's a lot. Steals, he is killing it. Nobody's beating that. Minutes, he is dominating LeBron and minutes played. Turnovers, dominating LeBron. Things are looking, look, looking good. Oh, and he re-upped his contract again. He has 18 MVP awards, 13 championships, 24 all-star appearances, and career high is only 60. I'm not, uh, it needs to be more than that. You know, you've been here for so long. You're the greatest scorer of all time. 
What am, what am I trying to look at real quick? He re-upped this contract. Whenever we do these crazy career simulations, I always turn off salary cap because the salary cap messes everything up. 90 overall players be sitting in free agency. So with no salary cap, he re-upped, man. He's going to be making $61 million a year at the end of this contract at the age of 25. For the He's going to be 25 for the third time. And we're not even close to done. We're, we're only in the year 2046. So <laughs> buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. We still got a long way to go. Look at these numbers. 41, 11, and six and a half, two and a half steals is, again, killing John Stockton stuff. 41 points per game is an all-time high for him. Just strolling through this. I feel I feel like Bill Russell. Like, he's here, he's been here for too long. Uh, 41 points per game. That's insane. Um, and the team was the best in the league. So, you know what I'm saying? Can, can he beat him? Just making my job better at, or easier at the end of the day. The more points he scores per season, the faster we can wrap up this video. That's another finals MVP under his belt. Where he just averaged 39 points per game in the finals. So at this moment in time, after that legendary season, okay, he's still at 60K. All right. But let, let me do some math. I'm going to try to do mathematics again, all right? So he's not averaging 41. So let's assume he's averaging about, okay, 25,000 or 2,500 points do, 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 do some mathematics. I don't, I don't know. A lot of seasons left to go. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I'm sitting here simulating as I always do. I mean, I got no other choice. NBA history, right? <laughs> MVPs, all Kenny Beecham. All NBA first team. I swear to God on, I, I, like, if I am lying, you can take everything that I own. I did not create this Andre Levis thing. I, I put that I put that on everything I love. I swear to you, I did not create that Andre Levis thing, bro. I did not create this guy. What the heck? Yo, this is insane. Some people have no idea what we're referring to. You really have to be around the channel to know. A glow up. But I swear to you, that is that is that is brand new to me, bro. That is brand new to me. I just been simulated. I haven't even been really thinking about watching or anything. I, I picked up a little bit and I saw Andre Levinston as an all NBA player. That's insane. Okay, that's it. I'll see you guys again. And um, we're in the year 2051, by the way. So we're technically 30 years into his NBA career. Um, and he's doing great things, obviously. 30, 30 years in. Which means that we have long time ago oh my god he's 29 too close too close to being 30 so we are resetting his age and right now he's a 90 oh he's 99 percent loyalty to san antonio that's why he's been here his entire career um where do we go birth year we had it at 2022 and now it is at 2032 this man that is this whew. Greatest player of all time, only 19 years old. Kenny Beachum was just a part of the, well, they tied the greatest record of all time at 73 and nine. So that's kind of cool. Just added different things to that resume. The unbeatable resume, <laughs> the most unbeatable resume of all time. Now I'm about to try something or, or figure something out because as I've been simulating, I've been checking every single season about his total points scored, right? At the beginning of this season, at the beginning of this season, I don't know if you can see that. You, pro you probably can't see that. He was at 61,948 points. So they're trying to tell me he scored a little over 100 points this season. I believe we found a break in the system. They got him at 62,000, which is great. Do not get me wrong. But I don't think that adds, I don't think that adds up. Does it add up? Am I tripping? This feels like if I were to sit here and add all of these numbers, is it just 62? Because look, 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 I just told you the, the value it was at before the season started, right? Okay, this is what we're going to do. Look at this number right here. Look at this experiment right here. 62,059. 62,059. We're going to simulate free agency. We're going to simulate the first month of this next season and see if this 68, 62,058 or whatever, it, I'm going to have to take a picture of it. I got the phone. 62,059 points, all right? So we simulate the first game. He himself scored 40. So it should reflect that. But it doesn't. It should reflect that. But it doesn't. Let's let's go, a uh, let's go another game because maybe it don't add until the end of the season. He scored 31, right? Right? 
I'm going to simulate to the end of the season. Is this the end of the video? <laughs> I just want to score 100,000 points. I've been working on this video for like eight hours now. That's, I just want to, I just want to have a hundred, I just want it for the thumbnail. At the end of the day, I want it for the thumbnail. I want it for the title of the video. It hasn't moved. It hasn't moved. We're about 16 games to the season, but maybe it doesn't calculate until the end of the year. So I'm going to simulate it and, and maybe come back. If we come back and this ain't moved, Hey, all of, all of this was for nothing. All of it. All of it was for nothing. We will never hit our final goal. All right, this is the moment of truth. For at the end of the season, he averaged 34. That's a lot of points, right? They added 200 points to his total. So now... So now I'm thinking... Why only count 200? Which 200 points were the important points to matter? The game is, I think this video is over. I don't think you do it. Every season, we only get 200 points? I will, I would, we, we, you don't get it done. You can't get it done. Okay, all right, all right, okay. How is it possible? Do I sit here and I add every single point that we have so far? Because obviously this all does not equal 30, uh, 62,000. It doesn't. Do I sit here and do it? Editor Kenny here. I found out exactly what happened. 2K kind of got rid of the first 10 years of his career. As you can see, it says that his career starts in 2032. So from 2021 to 2032, all of those stats are gone. So that tells me 2K only calculates what? 25, 30 years at a time, basically. So there's that. Ah, uh, let me bring out the calculator. Okay, okay. G give, give me, give me a minute as I calculate how many real points we have. Okay. Now I am super confused because I added up all of them. I added them all up, and what we get is sixty-two thousand. My phone is dirty. Sixty-two thousand. Something is not right here, and I don't know what it is. Am I going insane? So I'm going back to my old pictures. Before this season started, total points was at 62,059. After he scored, after he scored almost 3,000 points, it went up 200. He's making $74 million this year, if you didn't know. I, 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 I don't know if I'm broken or 2K is broken. I guess we go one more year to kind of certify what what is what is here. But I think this is it. I think we are done here. Because we broke the game. Let me go back to it. 24 years old, 99 overall, been in the league since 2021, and it's 2056 2057. I'm going to simulate it. For reference, again, this is where we are in far, as far as total points. Total points scored has only moved a couple hundred in four seasons. 32 points per game, right? 32 points per game, right? It went up by 300. Which makes no sense. 2,600 points were scored. Went up by a couple hundred. So, that's the end of it. If it's only going up 300 per year, we'll never be able to hit the 100,000 100, 100, value mark because of that. And I think it's I think it's done. Total points in the season, he's got third all time. He had a 74 point game in a 61 point playoff game. D'Angelo Russell beat beat that though. He tied MJ. Career points, yeah. Um, career field goals, the most. He should be. Uh, he's definitely beating Lamelo Ball if they were actually counting things. He was. He should be beating um, a Karl Malone when it comes to free throws, rebounds. He's basically there. Assist. He was top. I thought he was top ten, but he's number seventeen. Blocks. Who the heck is Ruben Page? Steals. Unbeatable. That's all that matters. I now I'm curious. Okay, this is the point where we bail on the challenge. As you can see, you can't beat it. 
I'm going to exit. And I wonder if the foul will be corrupt. All right. So we're going to go over to my NBA. Spurs. Oh, you can't load it. Huh. I wonder, I wonder what makes this different than the other one we started, which was this Atlanta Hawks one that we cannot load. I don't know. Hey, listen, I don't know what this video turned into. We had we had an idea and we could not execute because not of any fault of our own. We've been working on this for a very, very long time. So it's unfortunate we weren't able to get to that 100,000 mark, but hopefully you did enjoy the video. If so, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. You have to be watching like an hour long video or something. So subscribe if you got to this point, if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace.